How's it going guys? Jason here from Strengthen You, your fitness and therapy experts. Uh, we're going to be talking about upper back pain that might be common with a lot of different people. Uh, we're talking about athletes, class members, BT members, desk warriors, just about anybody. People are addressing this problem incorrectly. Uh, just by countless foam rolling sessions and stuff like that, using their cross balls. I mean, once you, you feel that pain, the dull ache in your upper middle back, near your rhomboids, the muscle is a bit more stiff, right? So we don't just want to loosen it up, that's just half the battle. You want to actually strengthen that muscle and make it actually in a functional state. Foam rolling time and time again is not going to do that. It's going to give you like a band-aid to the problem, okay? So a lot of people do slouch uh, throughout the day and they try to fix their posture just by pulling their shoulders back. Uh, that's really not a great technique to fix posture. You need to be able to strengthen the weakened muscles and obviously loosen up the tight ones. Um, it's not a matter of just pulling your shoulder blades together. Think about your spine being a puppet on a string and you're trying to like elongate that and, and, and pull from the top to activate the erectors a bit better. All right, so try that and that should actually help out a little bit. So one of the first things in this protocol to fix your upper back pain is a little bit of mobility for the thoracic spine. So I'm going to use a, a lunged uh, T-spine rotation against the wall to not only um, open myself up, but I'm going to be activating my rhomboids and my upper back. All right. So I'm going to go into a lunge, whatever leg, say my left leg is closer to the wall. I'm going to try to keep this flush the entire time. This shouldn't leave uh, the wall. Okay. This should be at 90 degrees. I'm going to be nice and upright, my starting position. I'm gonna keep this knee against the wall and rotate right around as far as I can. I'm gonna to try to squeeze my upper back at this point. I'm not trying to lose tension with the wall. I'm not trying to lean this way. I'm trying to stay nice and upright the entire time. If you guys can't reach the wall, just go as far as you can. Come back in, make sure you're nice and straight and just keep trying as much as you can to touch that wall. I would do this about three or four times, uh, 10 to 12 slow reps. So the second part of the protocol um, is going to be strengthening the weakened muscles. So we're going to be working on specifically lower trap and rhomboid to kind of pull back our shoulder blades naturally and strengthen ourselves in that position. Um, it's going to be a kettlebell, kind of like a bent over row, but I want to point out that you don't want to be rowing towards your waist. We're trying to incorporate the upper back. So we're going to pull right to the chest and try to keep your elbows nice and high the entire time. Okay. So grab the kettlebells, hinge over, core tight. I'm going to drive my elbows straight up, squeeze my shoulder blades together. Yep. Right against my chest the entire time. All right, guys, hopefully that video was a bit more helpful, uh, kind of identifying the cause to your mid back, upper back pain. Um, try to implement that protocol for four to six weeks, uh, two to three times a week. You should be able to see a little bit of a difference, especially in your daily posture. Remember, it's not about just pinning your shoulder blades together and forcing your position. You want to be naturally in that position to begin with. So strengthen those muscles and get some rotation to that upper spine. All right, guys, again, I'm Jason from Strengthen You. Remember, you're one strategy away from crushing your fitness goal. Uh, let us know if you need anything. Take care.